get ready for some close encounters tonight. The Area 51 takeover has arrived. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. The party kicked into high gear in Lincoln County today as crowds gathered at two Area 51 themed festivals. Exact numbers difficult to determine, but officials estimate thousands of visitors, many in alien garb, have arrived in the desert surrounding Area 51. All right, so once again, we are bringing you all the excitement with team coverage tonight. Vanessa Murphy has been hanging out with visitors at Alien Stock in Rachel, Nevada. But first, George Knapp is live in Heiko at Area 51, the base camp event. George? Hey, Denise, you know, the mystery and intrigue surrounding Area 51 really kicked into high gear, make that warp drive gear back in 1989 when we interviewed a former government scientist named Bob Lazar. More recently, Lazar's story has found a new audience, which has sparked two large gatherings here in Lincoln County. Of all the thousands of people that have been drawn here, you can bet that we have found the one guy who's been pursuing the Area 51 mystery longer than just about anyone. They claim to be from France, but we're not buying it. Party animals from multiple planets, along with throngs of ET curious earthlings, interacting with cutting edge tinfoil haberdashers. And, and we get really good service. Have been drawn to two towns on the edge of the world's best known secret base, in part because of media stories and whispered scuttlebutt about what might be hiding out there. Aviation journalist Jim Goodall says, been there, done that. About 80 times over the last 35 years. Goodall was part of a small group of desert detectives known as the Interceptors who would trade tidbits of information about classified technology in planes. He's written several acclaimed books about secret aerospace tech. He spent countless days and nights lurking outside of both Area 51 and its sister facility, Area 52, near Tonopah. In the mid-80s, he helped launch the speculation about captured alien technology thanks to tips received from aerospace insiders about things in the desert that could quote make Star Wars director George Lucas drool. Ben says, Jim, we have things out in the desert that is 50 years beyond what you can comprehend. Not what you think you can build in 50 years, but what you can comprehend. And if you've seen movies like Star Trek or Star Wars, we've been there, done that, Goodall understands that the Pentagon needs to keep some things secret, but is sympathetic with the UFO activists who came here demanding transparency. He defends the public's right to know. Well, it's Area 51 and everything in there is paid by you and I, by our taxpayers. You know, uh, Goodall says he is encouraged to see so many young people at least take a tangential interest in things like black budgets and secret technology and UFO secrecy and transparency. And he hopes that at least a few of the partiers who are here this week in Lincoln County will stick with it and tackle the hard questions and try to pierce the veil of UFO secrecy. And that veil is pretty thick here today. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you about extraordinary security measures that are underway here in Lincoln County. Reporting live from the ET Highway, George Knapp, 8 News Now. George, I picture you near Area 51 like Bruce Springsteen in New Jersey. What is the reaction people have to you? I imagine some of them would just be amazed to meet George Knapp. I'm just curious, what's the reaction of some of these youngsters? I have my followers here. I have people that are, are lurking around me as we speak, uh, waiting to say hello. And uh, it's always great to meet people, especially when they want to talk about this topic. I never get tired of it. What's the best and worst part about being there? Uh, well, right now, things are kind of slow at the Heiko event here, so that's kind of a disappointment. I think it's going to pick up a little bit later. Paul Oakenfold is supposed to be here to perform, and I think that should draw a big crowd. It's been pretty dusty, a little bit windy, but it's it, it, the best part has been meeting all the people, the costumes, uh, people here to have a good time and to learn a little bit about UFOs. You were the first one talking about it, George. Now it's happening. We've also signed you up for a DJ set just after Paul Oakenfold, FYI for you. Thanks, George. <laughs> All right. <laughs>